Right. Yesterday for Fridays here at Backyard Tech, old mate took a sticky beak at the latest offering from Paul Turner in his HBX Linux spins, HBX Debian. Fantastic. It's Debian, which I like. And on the whole, again, a really nice little Linux spin. However, we did see in that video, there were some serious problems. Paul watched the video and took, a, took on board some of the problems I had pointed out. Overnight, he released HBX Debian 2, the hotfix. So for weekend Saturdays here at Backyard Tech, let's have a sticky beak at HBX Debian 2, the hotfix. Linux. Windows. Op systems and apps. This is the Backyard Tech System Setup and Product Review. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Weekend Saturdays here at Backyard Tech and it is System Setup and Product Review time here at the Backyard Tech channel. A little bit of a follow-up video as well. Now, as we know, I'm a great supporter of Paul Turner, his Hybrid X and HBX Linux spins I have enjoyed, I use. Yesterday, he released HBX Debian and automatically I was taken to it like a duck out of water. It's Debian, of course I'm going to love it. However, as we saw, we had some serious problems with getting it up and running. Overnight, Paul released a hot fix to it, and again has personally asked old mate if I would give it the Backyard Tech Channel treatment. So, for weekend Saturdays here at Backyard Tech, let's give HBX Debian 2 the hot fix, the Backyard Tech Channel treatment, going to have a sticky beak at it. Let's get into it. All right, we're sort of going to fly through this a little bit because he has changed a few things, but we're going to make sure it installs first. So, standard test bench scenario, 4 gig of RAM, dual core CPU, 120 gig hard drive. Let's fire it up. Okay. The Ace is definitely not happy this morning, I know that. Either that or I hadn't finalised the machine properly, one of the two. Now Paul's adamant, he has tested it on multiple levels, it should work. He did give me the Paul Turner guarantee, so there we go. Oh! Okay. That's not what was supposed to happen. I said boot the system installer. Oh, it's Debian. Okay, it's all right. I'm sure I clicked boot system installer and not... Or maybe he's modified it. I actually should have read the thing a bit more. Okay, he did modify it. That's fine. That's fine. It's all right. Okay. Oh, I don't think I've got that right. Hang on. I might change that a little bit. I can't even write the standard password I use for our SSPR videos. HBX Debian 2 hotfix VM. Right. Okay. Quickly do this. All right, once this is done and all installed, we'll be back. You're watching Weekend Saturdays. 
here at Backyard Tech. All right, all installed. Let's reboot it. Now there are some changes that he's made, which I'll talk about upon getting into the system. All right. Um, they're not major changes, but it may suit some people who want to have a sticky beak at this OS to, you know, figure it out. Something's really wrong with the Acer server at the moment. I don't know what it is, but it's not its not happy, is it? I'm starting to think I should have put this out on the Dell. Oh, well. We'll see what happens. All right. While that boots, or reboots, let me explain some of the things that we have. I know you're looking at a black screen here. But I'm a little concerned... Let's just force a reset. Hang on. Yes. There we go. All right. All right. I just forced a reset. While that boots, um, he's got rid of the xorg.conf file out of the system. That's a good thing. Um, the Deepen Package Manager, Activity Log Manager... Hang on, software removed. Uh, Deepen package manager, activity log package manager gone. Uh, GDebbie's there, the nitrogen desktop, wallpaper changes also there. Um, and the mainline Ubuntu kernel update. Okay, so if you don't want to use the Debian kernel, he, I believe, according to this, he has put the mainline Ubuntu update in, but for old mate, I'll be sticking with um, I'll be sticking with the Debian kernel. All right. First thing we're going to do is get OpenVM tools installed, because again, you know, I'm not allowed to use the one that comes with ESXi, I've got to use the open one. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go to software and go to Synaptic. I like this. I do like this. For starters, it's Debian. Let's reload everything. Now, HBX Tools isn't here. He's completely redoing HBX Tools. So the idea here is you only get what you need and you build on top, okay? But there are some smaller changes we're going to look at. Come on, wakey, wakey. Ooh, this is an issue. Launch pad. Oh, we got a problem here. All right, let's see if we can at least get it. We can, all right. So we can at least get that, which will bring us into... Um, Apply, go. I like this. This terminal output makes it easy to see what it's doing, which is always a good thing. All right, let me move myself up to the top of the screen without actually going off the screen. There we go. So I like this. You can see what it's doing. Yeah, you know, sometimes you've got to expand the terminal output. At least that way you can actually see what you're doing. Okay. So that gets all that installed. Ooh. It's a funky repeating desktop. Okay, next thing we need to do is go to system. Sorry, go to settings. And get that time and date right. And the keyboard right as well. So first off, do the keyboard. Use 
your system defaults. Add English Australian. What I want. Get rid of that one. All settings. Get the time and date right as well. Because it's definitely not two past midnight. I can tell you that right now. It's just after nine o'clock actually. Okay. Go all the way up to Australia. We'll go to Melbourne. Close, lock, close, close. Right. Okay. Let's... Uh, That, that stays the same. I like the new menu layout. You can see there the time's up now. So Nemo for the file manager. Okay, G Debbie's there, but Deepen's not. So Deepen's gone. Um, look, I, I'm going to have people go at me at this. I'm not a, I'm not a great fan of the Deepen package installer. I prefer the G Debbie package installer because I know it works. Generically speaking. In the past, I have had some troubles with the Deepen installer, not accepting certain packages, so which is all right. We've got this one, which is nice. I like packages. I know it's old, but I like it. Uh, okay, so let's go into Schmettings. Let's go to our display settings. Go into advanced. New displays, identifying displays, that's good. It seems quicker than yesterday. Actually, it seems a lot quicker than yesterday, which is nice. I've got to find this for my other Linux operating systems. That stace is actually really nice. I was having a more of a sticky beak at it yesterday. Okay, so this is all all good here. Hello, what's that? Check folder sizes and available disk space. Oh, that's it. Need to have a sticky peek at that at some stage. G part of it, that's all good. Okay, so we go into computer. And the Nemo file manager, look, when it comes to file managers, all right, all right I'm going to get into trouble for saying this. I'm a bit of a traditionalist. Thuna, followed by Dolphin, and then Nemo. That's sort of where I lie with file managers. Which is, yeah, look, it's all right. And uh, now he was. So that's your standard desktop, okay? You can change it which is fine. I gotta say, let's have a look at software. Actually, first off, I know what I wanna do. Hang on. Oops. I wanna fix that package repo issue. Cause it's the launch pad that was causing the trouble. Okay. That's done at that time. All right. So software from yesterday, about the same, not surprised, uh, which is fine. Very much fine. Now, let's, uh, let's see how we go with getting multimedia into this. Now that we've fixed up that package issue, I want to reload Synaptic and we'll check it out. It worked that time. All right, let's uh, get Firefox. And we'll take that one, Mark. And then we'll search for VLC. I tend to use Synaptic for a lot of stuff now. Huh, okay. There it is. Mark for installation, Mark. Let's apply all them. 
because essentially, if this goes the way I think it's going to go, this will go. This will end up on the plasma TV PC purely because it's Debian, and I've always liked a Debian-based distro. But already, I'm impressed with this. It's simple. It's clean. It's easy to use, and it's a minimalist system. And I think for anyone who wants a minimalist system and to build up only what they want in it is fantastic. What I will say is I know how much effort Paul puts into these little spins. And I would greatly like my viewers to support Paul's endeavor. Okay. Help him when he needs help. I know many people over on the AOT Facebook group help him out. So I I will continue to support Paul in his HBX Linux spins because even I use them virtually and physically. Virtually and physically use them. Okay, so there's Synaptic. And as you can see, we now have interwebs. We'll go for, I, I've got to say, I do like this. It is nice and quick. And we're on 7801 for Firefox, and we should be on VLC, I think, 310. Oh, 3011. Oh, well, that's all right. So there's VLC already in dark mode, which is really good. Let's, um... Now, he hasn't included HTOP this, this time, which is fine. HTOP. No. Okay. So what we'll do, okay, let's 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 go into Schmettings. Uh where is that? Stacer. Alright, let's have a look at Stacer. Okay. It's a little heavier. It's not a lot heavier. Very little of the hard drive. Look at that. It's only used 6.4 gig of a 120 gig hard drive. That's smaller than yesterday. All right. So according to Stacer, we're using 936 point, 936 mega RAM. Okay. Let's go to HTOP, which I don't think he's put in. No, he hasn't. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, H top. Okay, so H top says seven hundred and seventy meg. So again, less than 20% of the RAM, which to me is acceptable for any Linux distro. You know, 10% of four gig is 400 meg. 20% is gonna be 800 meg. It's less than 800 meg, only just, but it is less. So it's near enough, damn it, to three quarters of a gig of RAM. But you can see the OS is still very, very responsive. We have 83 tasks, 126 threads, one running. Load averages are good. I'm impressed, so I'm happy. And I'm extra happy because it's Debian. Um, there is the mainline kernel for Ubuntu. If you want to run up a larger kernel, you can add newer kernels from the Ubuntu mainline if you wish. I'm not. When it comes to kernels, I'll add the Debian kernel. If I want to update the Debian kernel, I'll manually update it to a newer Deb kernel. If we have a look at what kernel he is running by default, so it's kernel 41909 Debian. So you can see there it's uh, Deb 10U1. Uh, 7th of June, which is the latest Debian kernel. For me personally, I will leave it on the 41, 
419 kernel from Debian because I like the Debian platform. That's just me, okay? And I know people are going to hate what I'm about to say. I find Debian more friendly than Ubuntu. Always have, always will. But there we go. Paul Turner's latest offering. And again, this is very, very good. He does a fantastic job with this. What's that? Nitrogen. Ah, now this is the new desktop manager. This is the new background manager. This is uh, preferences. So there's the backgrounds. Now you can, that's how you change your backgrounds. The nitrogen system. I may have forgotten to have a sticky peek at that yesterday. But, uh, hang on, what's scaled, apply. There we go. That's better. <laughs> so, this is the, this is what I like. This is what I like. This is nice. And you can see here, you can add more backgrounds if you wish. And what I'll do is show you how that works. Because I have used nitrogen once before. So what we can do is, so you can see here the working folder is user share backgrounds, all right? And I'll show you one thing you can do. Images. So let's, uh, let's take that one, okay? Save image as. And what you can do here is you can go to other locations, user, share, and we want backgrounds. Is that where it is? User, share, backgrounds. In there. Save it. Can nitrogen, okay, what happened? Failed. Ooh. Now, what happened there? Why did that? All right, let's try another picture then that we can save. All right. Save image. Ah. I know why it's not working. It's all right. I just figured out why it's not working. Hang on a minute. Pictures. Save. There we go. Okay. So now what you can do is you can go back to nitrogen. You can go to preferences. You can go to add. We'll go to backyard. Go to pictures. Select. Okay. Apply. There we go. My own fault, but there we go. So that's how nitrogen works. I, I forgot about that. That's my fault. Sorry, guys, but there we go. Again, look, guys, please go and check it out for yourselves. I love it. It's extremely user-friendly. And again, Paul makes sure with these, they're a minimalist system. So you end up with the bare basics and you can build on top what you need. Okay. I Look, to be honest, I think this is better than his first release. There are a lot of bug fixes that have been sorted out, which I think is fantastic. He's done a really nice job of this. And Paul, take note. This is going straight up to the Plasma TV PC, mate, right off the meat of the bat. Guys, please check it out for yourselves. I will leave a link in the description below. Check it out for yourselves. And if you're on the AOT Facebook group, Please tell Paul what you think of it because I love it. I love this. I'm, I'm, th this will end up in hardware. It's also going to end up on the 732 because I look. I just love his operating systems. They've always been very good, and personally, I've never had a problem with them. 
Ah, one thing we haven't done yet is the network test. Oh, look at that, straight up. No problem whatsoever. That makes life easy, doesn't it? There we go. HBX Debian 2, the hot fix from Paul Turner and his latest uh, Linux spins. Very, very, very nice. And I'm happy with it. And I will, I will be using it. Trust me, it'll end up on the Plasma PC. Just a quick one. We'll have a quick sticky beak at uh, the GDB package installer, as you can see there, right off the meat of the bat. Fantastic. I will be using this. I will be putting this into a virtual environment and into hardware. Well done, Paul Turner. Another fantastic little HBX Linux spin. And kudos from old mate. Anyway, guys, stick around. Plenty more coming up here at Backyard Tech for weekend Saturdays. As always, have a good one all. Cheers.